in a little bit of that pre-trip funk right now where I'm trying to get all of the gear organized for a solo car camping trip that I've got uh, that I'm leaving for here in about an hour. I'm trying to get everything packed up in the car and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I actually take with me on a solo car camping trip where I don't have my kids and my wife. I am going with a friend, but solo in the sense that I've got all of my gear to make me self-sufficient and not have to rely on anybody else. All right, we're working with day two here in uh, this campsite, but I just wanted to explain here in the future because we're gonna rewind a little bit and talk about all the gear that I brought with me. The fun thing about car camping is there's a hundred different ways you can do it. For example, Andrew is in a rooftop tent and uh, he is pretty minimal in his approach. And that's his, uh, that's his secret sauce, <laughs> basically. But uh, the, uh, the rooftop tent is, is a nice touch and a fun way to do it. So I'm gonna show you all of the stuff that I enjoy bringing with me because uh, I like convenience, I like comfort, and I like cooking when I'm out on a car camping trip like this. And I showed you guys all of the family gear that I take with me when I'm out on my family trips. And it's slightly different when I'm here on a, on a solo trip where I'm just self-sufficient with my gear. This box is awesome. The shelter that I'm using for this trip is the Nemo Dragonfly two-person tent. When I'm out solo like this, a tent of this nature just works really well. This is the Hest Foamy pad, like roll up, bed roll kind of thing. Um, and the best part about it is, I do these clips, roll it out and it's done. <laughs> so it's got two different types of memory foam in it. Uh, and what I've learned about it so far is the density of it um, makes it so that it doesn't get super rock hard in the cold. Um, so I'm excited to be sleeping on this. And then I've got the Hest Camp Pillow to go with it. And we'll grab my sleeping bag here in a second. Got the pillowcase. This is also a memory foam pillow that has that same like temperature controlled. I don't know really what to call it, but it just doesn't get super stiff and hard when you are uh, in cold temperatures. And then for my sleeping bag, this is the Zen Bivy light bed. So I specifically got the 25 inch wide foamy from Hest so that I can easily pair it with my, my Zen Bivy. Cause I love this sleep system. Well, good morning to you. Sleep system was pretty good. It was a little cold. And I uh, wish I had pulled this out. This is my UGQ Quillo for just a little bit of extra warmth, but my stomach was also not feeling super good. The Hest bed is a little softer than I would like, but still super comfy and enjoyed it. But the real winner is this pillow. This thing was fantastic. Man, it's so good. Just getting the kitchen all set up here and one of my favorite things is this table that we've got that's one of those roll style tables but it sits nice and tall as you can see it's almost like pretty much counter height so i'm not like bending over killing my back when i'm trying to cook but I've got my sitio crate full of all my kitchen stuff we're gonna get some coffee ground and going this morning uh, to do in the Aeropress. So Aeropress is actually sponsoring this video today and uh, we're gonna put the Aeropress Go to use to make some uh, coffee. I'm gonna make myself a nice uh, vanilla latte and whatever Andrew wants. My two liter pot from Sea to Summit. Put my coffee in that. Ah, oh, nuts. <sighs> Dropping stuff then a, a nice bowl that goes inside. So, get water going in that. Get some coffee made. We're rocking the Hilltop Packs coffee. It's 
So a few of the things that I enjoy about the AeroPress Go is the fact that it's very travel and hiker friendly with a lightweight, compact, and shatterproof design. It's also the only coffee maker that uses a three-in-one brew technology of air pressure, immersion, and microfiltration. It's just honestly so handy to have the option to brew different styles of coffee when you're out on a camping or a backpacking trip. And depending on your preference, you can pretty much brew whatever you want. And for me, I like the option of a latte. So the AeroPress in a morning, not an iced vanilla latte, but a cold vanilla latte with the, uh, the Hilltop Packs espresso roast, Hilltop Packs coffee espresso roast. And that is delicious. So the AeroPress Go, pretty slick little way to get some coffee. I made a cup for uh, Andrew over here. Said it was fantastic. Yeah, it's nice to be able to get a latte when I'm out when I'm out camping. Jumpstart my day, you know. So, thanks to AeroPress for sponsoring this really cool product and uh, super nice for this kind of environment. So, link down in the description for you to check out more about them. So, a few other things of note for the kitchen setup. Down here on the ground, I've got my Ignic Growler. Uh, five pound propane tank. Absolutely love that thing. So nice, so handy to just basically use that for an entire spring and summer season, not have to refill. And then my stove is the half gen from Jetboil. This thing is seriously a really cool, kind of overpriced <laughs> product, but I love cooking on that. Super efficient. I love being able to use the propane, the, uh, the fry pan. When we make dinner tonight, you'll uh, you'll hear me rave about this, but this is probably the best fry pan that's on the market that comes with the half gen from Jetboil. Okay, next up here is food related stuff and power for my fridge. So in the back of the car here, I've got a bin that has all of my dry food. And then I have my Go 20, 20 liter fridge from Iceco. This is perfect for just simple weekend trips like this where you don't need a lot of stuff refrigerated but it just again i will always repeat this that this is so much better than a cooler because you don't have to manage ice and this is really small form factor for not taking up a lot of space in my car so i love that i love having a fridge and i've got it connected to my anchor solix c1000 this has become my favorite power station. Like it's small in its size, it's compact, and it punches a lot of power for how small it is. So it's like over a thousand um, watt hours, which is really nice. And at this point, been running the fridge for a full 24 hours on here, plus also charging things from it. I'm at 76%. This does wonders at keeping things charged and powering the fridge and I love it. So that's the Anchor Solix C1000 and then I'm going to pull this guy out right here and we'll talk about this next. So this is something that I'm pretty stoked on that I recently found when I was at a local retail shop and decided to pick one up. So this is a 45 liter gear tote that uh, is made by Gregory that makes backpacks and such. It's called the Alpaca 45 liter gearbox. Um, but what really stood out to me is the fact that this is waterproof and dustproof. So it provides protection for the gear inside, which is really nice. But I love that the lid, which is crush proof, this is all stuff that it says on the label. So I've only had it for literally two days at this point. Showed up my doorstep um, when I ordered it an hour before leaving but it's got this hinging lid that depending on which side you open up it hinges on both sides which is super cool or it'll come off all the way and then you've got your gasket right here that seals around this lip here but it makes it possible to carry stuff in a really simple way keep it organized and protect it from water, protect it from dust and that kind of thing. So I thought that, that was 
pretty cool. Maybe it's a little overpriced, $60 for a plastic gear tote. Let me know in the comments if you think that's ridiculous. <laughs> I know somebody will. <laughs> but that's the Alpaca 45 liter gearbox from Gregory. So Andrew has the next idea on the, on the board here, which is when you're going on a car camping trip, you gotta have a great camp chair. And the camp chair that I brought on this trip is the uh, Kilos Gear Grand Peak. This thing is fantastic. Super cozy, nice and tall in its sitting height. And the legs are also adjustable on it, which is cool because you could actually recline it back a little bit. You've got your little head pillow, armrests, pocket for your soda, pocket down here, another pocket on the other side. So you can put random things. It's just a really cozy, cozy chair. It packs up small enough so it doesn't take a lot of space up in the back of your car. But I like this a lot. It's, it's nice. The adjustable legs, like I said, have a bunch of different positions. So right now I've got it reclining a bit more. I can raise it up, I can lower it down. So if like a child or somebody shorter is using it, you can adjust that height, which is, is really cool. And the high back makes it really comfortable. It's a great sitting height. I just enjoy this a lot. Now the last piece of gear that we'll talk about happens to be one of my favorite pieces of gear for camping. This is the Ignic Firecan Deluxe, but the Firecan in general from Ignic is amazing. It's a propane fire pit, and it is so nice to be able to, on a quick, like, don't have to do any prep, just attach to the propane tank, light it up, and you've got instant fire. No smoke, and could it be a little bit warmer? Could it be a little bit bigger? Sure, but in the setting of what we're doing right now to just have the ambiance of the fire pit, a little bit of extra warmth, don't have to deal with smoke, <laughs> like it's so nice. And to be able to wake up on a cold morning and get a fire going and not have a smoky, nasty thing going on, or if you don't even have a fire pit in the area, this is amazing. So that is... The last item that we'll talk about, that's all of the gear that I love to take on my solo car camping trips. Super bougie in some ways. It's really comfortable and just creates a really nice experience. So with that, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you are not. I've got links for everything down in the description if you want to learn more and check out some of the stuff. And I want to thank AeroPress for sponsoring the video today as well. Check out AeroPress down in the description also. Thanks, guys.